it's Bill Grady again with an excerpt from my new book, Holy Ground, The True History of the State of Israel. I'm going to talk about World War II briefly. When Americans think of the war, they think in terms of Saving Private Ryan, The Longest Day, Band of Brothers. They think of the Western Front. But 70% of the divisions that Hitler lost were lost on the Eastern Front to the Russians. I mean, even when we were children, Hogan's Heroes, they always threatened, I'll send you to the Russian Front. Uh, that's where the action was. And God, in his providence, allowed a full-blooded Jew by the name of Richard Cowder to be the catalyst for Hitler's losses on the Eastern Front. Richard Cowder was an Austrian Jew that was recruited by the German Secret Service, the Amor, to be a spy on the Bulgarian government. Even though he was Jewish, he was so proficient in the Balkan dialects that they used him, and they didn't let Hitler know about it. But in the, they kept his mother in house arrest to keep the pressure on him. And he was set up in an export-import building in Sofia, Bulgaria. And uh, his uh, alias was Fritz Klatt. Uh, and the, uh, the spy network was called Max, Max and Moritz. Now, all of this information is contained in an amazing book written by a, a retired IDF colonel, Avi Ziftal, fifth-generation Jerusalemite resident. Here's the book. It's uh, not been circulated in the United States. It only came out a couple of years ago. And it tells the story of how the Russian Secret Service flipped Cowder uh, to work for them. And throughout the war, he would pass correct information to his handlers in Berlin about Russian troop movements and different uh, details that were very meticulously uh, followed up on and found to be true, so he was very trusted. But in the key battles of the war, he would give disinformation at the vital moment, last moment, uh, that uh, flipped the battle in, in, in the favor of the Russians. The Battle of Moscow, first battle Hitler ever lost. The Battle of Kurz, the largest tank battle in the history of the world. Oh, the Battle of Stalingrad, the key turning point of the entire war. Cowder was involved in all of those losses for the Vermont, the German army. And Hitler never found out about it. He found out that Cowder was working for him at one time, and his famous quote was, get rid of that Jew, for heaven's sake. And the armor just put him under the radar more. They still believed in him. He was never found out, and he brought Hitler to his knees. And ultimately, during the War of Independence in Israel, he was responsible for the Israelis getting their first weapons from Czechoslovakia. So he also saved the state of Israel. The key verse that brings it all together is 2 Timothy 3.13. In the, in the last days, evil men shall wax worse and worse, seducing and being, deceiving and being deceived. So here's Hitler, the personification of evil, and he did, he did his evil through deception, sending all of those Jews, millions of Jews, to the gas chambers, sending them to the showers. But ultimately, he was taken out through deception, and God allowed a single, full-blooded Jew to bring his downfall. And that's all for this week. May God bless you, and we'll have another excerpt next time.